face reading channel and I receive an email from a lady Magdalene who wants to wants me to read on the Russian foreign minister Sergei Larov and Magdalene before I start uh, it's obvious that you are very angry with Sergei for whatever he did maybe you're Ukrainian or you're American and I'm trying not to be influenced by you but I, I certainly already am so I'm looking out for how evil this guy is um, Larov Sergei Larov so let's just jump into Sergei's face and let's see uh, what we see so the first countenance tells me that this is a guy that has been through a lot of battle because you don't see joy on his face at all but rather a lot of uh, scorn and defensiveness uh, lines that tells me it's, it's a lot of verbal battle scars and you know he's always on alert to fight back and um, where do I see all this? You see his wing, uh, slightly wing eye at, at some point when his expression tells me that this is frequently used wing eye muscles and uh, he's got a very strong beak type of nose tells me that he is very strong and assertive and he would one thing his way, his tight lip at some point and shows that you know he, when he wants to argue he tells me that he's always ready to fight back on his, in his position as a foreign minister uh, he's a very difficult position first of all you notice he has a long face and that talks about independence talk about maturity uh, he has a lines on his um, forehead that is not connected that tells you that he has different kinds of interests what is it? We don't really know. His long face says that he's, he's a typical diplomat type of face in a suit, have to be very legalistic about things, very bureaucratic about things. Uh, but let's look into his face, okay? So he has a longish face, tells me that he can um, operate independently and he has a very strong mind of his own. He has deep preset, you know, the one near the nose bridge tells me that he's uh, he thinks very quickly and very fast. He's constantly having this tight lip, small mouth thing that, you know, he is very careful what he can reveal, especially in his capacity of a foreign minister. Then his compassion lines and even his grief line tells me he go, has gone through a lot of um, difficult moments, a lot of emotion, a lot and this is, as you can recall, is grief. So he might have lost a loved one. Oh, we're almost certain that he might have lost a loved one. And in his um, professional side, he has lost some political battles. So overall, uh, well, Meglin, you are kind of right. Uh, this is not a person I would want to hang out on a Sunday afternoon and have a, a good chat or, or just Mary make with this guy. I think he has a lot of things on his mind. He has a lot of burden and I don't know. I don't want to be political. I have not read into the history. Maybe you guys who know about more about Sergei write down in the comments and tell me who this guy is but definitely a guy has a lot of weight on his shoulders and uh, his jowls are, are coming down here. It tells me he's a uh, person of authority of course but of, and with that comes a lot of responsibility and a lot of responsibility comes with a lot of weight. But since we are on this, let's talk about Xi Jinping, China's Premier. And whether he's good or bad, let's not be biased over it. Just let's read him according to what his face tells us. And um, you know, this is a typical boxy type of head. If he were not a president and in, if he was in Hong Kong or Singapore, we would immediately guess he's a CEO or boss of a company. So this is a very typical leadership type of face. Okay, very assertive, big built, boxy head, uh, very puffed up looking type of person. As you can see, Xi Jinping has a, a slitty eyes, a very thin uh, or single eyelid. Uh, tells you that he is a lab brain and he processes things in a very sequential way. It is confirmed by his boxy type of head and his uh, big jawline. It shows he has a lot of energy, a lot of, um, a lot of, you could even say assertiveness and perhaps even substance. 
his big nose um, reveals that he is probably very wealthy, a very wealthy person. A lot of you will say, oh, that's a given. Uh, there's also grief lines here. So, Xi Jinping, generally, he looks like a very healthy person. Uh, for his age, even, I would say he's one of the healthy ones with, you know, the backing of Chinese traditional medicine and all the great herbs that they have. Uh, no surprise that he will live a good long life. So his skin condition is great and um, overall, uh, the very little wrinkles just tells us he's very healthy. A full set of hair even. Okay, so that's Xi Jinping for you. A very quiet, reserved person, but, um, you know, I think he's a brilliant guy, he's very smart, he's a great thinker and he's a very assertive leader. Finally, we look at President Zelensky. So he has a great countenance, he's a likeable face, even handsome. This typical picture of him on Wikipedia immediately tells me that he's about to like, he gives me the impression he's about to break out into a joke. And then I found out that he's a actor and a comic actor actually so he gives me that impression so now taking it a very huge role and responsibility as the president of ukraine i see that his double eyelids uh, are very prominent and it shows that he has a lot of compassion and affection even um, perhaps for his people or for people in general and uh, he has also big nostrils they comes from a position or a vantage point of um, abundance and positivity so perhaps he's always looking forward for some a better life for his people and his strong nose rich shows determination um, maybe that's why he's going on with the war but no his small ears tells me he can be a bit stubborn so he when he sets his mind on something he's going to push it through you see the line across the chin here and what is that that's the achiever line so you know he hates losing he hates giving up he hates failures he's going to push himself but uh, I don't know the Ukraine war and war is stupid uh, I just hope there will be peace compromise whatever you need to compromise because peace is always better than war Okay, so uh, stay tuned for more YouTube videos. I will do more analysis on body language and also face reading. This is Christian Chua signing off from Dazaru, Johor Bahru, Malaysia.